Hi everyone, today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Dipanchu with us. So, Dipanchu, would you like to introduce yourself once? Yeah, thank uh, you. So, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Dipanchu Gindal and I currently work at Atlassian. Uh, before that, I was working as a software engineer intern at CVAC. Uh, I am from Peck Chandigarh. Yeah, so that's me. Hmm, nice. So, we're going to know his journey to Atlassian, you know, how he ended up cracking Atlassian, how he prepared for it, and everything in between. So, Dipanchu, would you like to start us off with your interview experience? Like, what all happened? How many rounds were there? Uh, we basically had four rounds. So, first one was basically OA. So, online assessment, they asked us, I'm not sure exactly, but I guess there were three to four questions. So, it was like, uh, if let's say if there were four questions, then two of them were quite easy and it was like straightforward. Uh, mathematical kind of questions so it's like uh, almost everyone did those kind of questions so those were easily solved and the third question was basically a medium level lead code question you can say so that also kind of doable and like most of the people solved that one from our college then the fourth one was basically a medium hard type of question so that was kind of a bit difficult and it was like not many people were able to solve that so it, you can say that question acted as a tiebreaker for everyone and we were given around 1.5 hour for that only assessment. And it's basically like uh, even how students, if I tell you how students are actually ranked, so it even depends upon your submission time and stuff and how many correct answers you actually get. So that was a part of online assessment. So after online assessment, uh, we got the result after a few days and uh, after a week, uh, we had interviews. So we basically had three uh, interview rounds. So first one was PSC round. So one good thing about Atlassian is basically even in these interview rounds, you can uh, openly Google uh, stuff. So it's a really good thing that interviewer is actually trying to help you and stuff. You can you just need to be open with them and tell them, okay, I'm not sure about this syntax. So can I search it up on Google and stuff? But it's, it should not be like you are actually searching the whole question directly. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. So basically, first one was PS around. So uh, basically, they asked me one question. And after that, there was a follow up on that particular question itself. So yeah. Uh, so follow up was basically on price. So I would say you basically need to have understanding of those things because I feel that trial is not asked by most of the companies. But but it's like you should know about the topic exactly. So I just coded the initially first part and follow up. I just explained my approach and we were done with the interview in 45 minutes. So they are a bit uh, strict about the time range and stuff. So they won't extend it much. So our next round was basically a system design round. So it was a high level system design. So they basically asked us to design one component. I won't name it uh, because I don't want to disclose the actual questions. Uh, so in that you just need to explain them how your system will actually work, what components you will actually use there, right? And why you are using those, uh, what optimizations can be done and that kind of thing. It's more like a discussion. So it was also around a 45 minutes round. So you just need to be open and explain stuff uh, in a proper manner to them. So that was about the third round. So the next one was uh, HR round. You can see I'm an HR round kind of stuff. So it, will, it is basically, they just opened up my resume and started asking me all the things from there. So for these kind of round, I would say you should link your, what you have done with the and values and stuff. So they basically try to look upon those things how a person actually follow these values and stuff. So yeah, that was also around 30 to 45 minutes from here. <laughs> All right. So total, they were online assessment and then two technical interviews, right? Uh, online assessment, two technical, and then HR. The HR yeah. <clears throat> right, right. Yeah. So according to what you said, I think it was pretty much uh, more leaning towards DSA, right? Like you need to have good DSA skills to be able to crack it. So speaking on that, we'd like to know more about your preparation journey, you know, how you prepared DSA and other things that you were able to crack the interviews of Atlassian. Yeah, sure. So I would say interviews were actually a mix of DSA and other things. So it's basically like, uh, yeah, for online assessments and your first DSA round. 
you only uh, session actually the tougher part when we talk about any kind of interviews in any companies right so it's basically if you have good enough knowledge to clear all assessments it's basically like you will probably clear their interview round and stuff uh, so that's the main part but in that uh, system design will also kind of a thing like uh, which was not which is not asked by many companies for freshers so it's like there are many few companies like apple like atlas in which basically ask these kind of questions to uh, to excellent interviews so uh, interviews but it's like they don't uh, ask in too much depth and stuff so it's like they just ask in a high level and if we if a children has actually understanding of that kind of things so now talking about like preparation strategy and stuff uh, so i basically started doing dsc you can say i started around my first year of my college so it was like Uh, we we even used to have C plus plus course during that time, so it was like, and even some of my friends were exploring a computer programming and stuff. So it was like I started doing code shop. So it was the first time when I was uh, encountered with this computer programming and stuff. So it's like at that that was a start. Uh, so initially I followed code school, my code school ch- channel on YouTube. That's a really good one, I would say, and it will. build up your concept and stuff so after that there were so many shifts into different channels so it was like uh, even striver's uh, channel that is really good one uh, if you talk about aditya verma he is also famous for his tp playlist and stuff so those are really good so i fo- these were kind of the main channels that i focused upon and apart from that there is also pep coding uh, uh, they also have really good dsc content which is available So you can also try that, but yeah, these were kind of my personal uh, preferences. Apart from that, I focus more on solving questions. Uh, so that was kind of a thing for me. So it was like I, I tried to do it regularly, but it was like sometimes I just got drifted to some other things and stuff. But yeah, it was kind. Of, it's like I would say you have three to four years of colleges, so uh, in that you can learn so many things. So just try to be consistent with the assets, like. uh till interviews you will need it so once you start it learn the topics and then just start practicing after that it's all about practicing nothing else hmm right 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 okay so did you follow also any specific resources for learning system design or like how was system design for you so i would say for me system design uh was like uh, sometimes like i just try to learn these things out of curiosity or during my mm. this beta journey so yeah even, that's better i would put one thing that one of my interviewer at while one of my interviewer while i was sitting for an intern uh, interview said so like he said that i am kind of a person who is jack of all so it's basically like i was doing this beta to explore different stuff and all that thing so my focus was never to be pro into something and that kind of thing so it's like during my college i did a, uh, a good amount of development uh, so we explored ml blockchain those kind of things also i have even built projects on that so even dsa was kind of a side thing that i was trying so it was like i was just trying to go into different things so for system design it was like uh, gorav sen has a very good playlist even there is a playlist by yogita sharma so as she has a channel by the name of sudo put so that's also really good and apart from that uh, specifically for the interview part i would say uh, so once you from those pages you will learn about what are the basic components that you should be using in hld and stuff uh, but after that uh, you can just uh, search for most common interview questions and you will basically there are like half an hour videos one hour videos where they will design system from one uh, from like starting till ending so Uh, if you watch five six videos, you will get a list of it on how to do that stuff and how to sit, how to explain these things in interviews. Hmm. Right. Right. <clears throat> and all of the resources that he has mentioned, we'll make sure to put it in the description so you guys can also learn from that. So do check out the description for the resources. So the Panchu. On a final note, you know, to all of the people who are watching this video who also want to crack a company like Atlassian, you know, who are hunting for jobs right now, what advice would you like to give to them? yeah my advice would be like first thing is your target should not be a specific company like so 
it's like just try things out uh, so first thing is uh, let's say if you want to sit for interviews right and if you want to clear co- interviews of any company just note down a few things which you should do and which you must know before sitting there interview so these are basically like you should know about oops you should know about computer networks you should know about operating systems right and then this dsa things comes up so it's basically computer fundamentals and this dsa so these are kind of main things right apart from that on your resume you should have at least one to two projects uh, which you can show and which you can talk about so it might be possible that projects might not help you directly in short listing of resume and stuff uh, but it's like they give you a chance to speak in interview so it is like many times it happened with me my in my interviews we were discussing about those projects why we build it what happening with that so it can give you a good story point and it will act as a benefit for you so these are the kind of some of the main things that everyone need to do if you are sitting for either a class one or any other company right so at least try to do those things uh, if you are clear about the path that you need to follow then it's just that like you just need to focus upon that start working on that and after that things will fall into place so sometimes it happens that you face rejection and stuff and things might not go the as the way you planned but think of a long term goal i would say so just keep doing and yeah eventually things will be. exactly eventually you'll get there right even if immediately you, you might not be seeing results despite of your hard work but that's also what i say that eventually you'll be getting there right mm-hmm. right right so that's a wonderful advice right there and if any one of you guys want to take help from dipanshu himself i'll give his linkedin in the description you guys can follow him from there and connect with him from there as well so thanks a lot dipanshu for coming on my channel sharing your journey your experience you know with all of my subscribers and the viewers i hope it will help a lot of students so thank you for sure it was my pleasure to be here so thanks a lot for inviting me